A player receives input from a coach. MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues now, continue. J.B. Bukowskis, a Virginia-born right hand. Striding into the box, Corbin Carroll. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The right fielder. And he takes ball one. Carroll. Ball, ball two. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two balls and a strike to count. Here it comes. And it's two balls and two, two strikes balls, now. Two strikes. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Adele is right there, one down. Now with the plate, Jeremy Pena. He did not that play exactly. last night, but clearly no back in the starting nine for this one. And he gets ahead 0-1. Oh, yeah. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he's really no getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more the bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Two out, nobody on. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight. Now at the play, Kevin Crone swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. That's inside. Two and oh. Now here's the pitch. That's ball three. Well, he was definitely looking three fastball out. here, and he got one. But that was good ah. discipline to lay off and get himself three into one. a 3-0 three three count. One three and one the count now. Hell and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 and to punch him out. One away. At the plate, Alec Thomas. He's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back That's to it. Two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Counts even at two. The pitch. 
Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a preview. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So no runs here on a base hit. Digging in, Andrew Bechtold, to as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Purple looked at here for strike one. And this ball's pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. So striding in, Anthony Greer took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1 and 1. Here's the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Digging in to try it again. Corbin Carroll. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. And a ball one and oh. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Hey. Two one pitches, a knuckle curve taken for a called strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. So digging in now, Jeremy Pena. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Maybe a little oh, jumpy the there as he swings through the fastball. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Digging into the batter's box next now is John that, Hicks. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And that's in there for a strike. One, one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything oh, over the heart good. of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. One ball, one strike to count. Drill down the line, but a foul ball, one and two now. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Crone. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. In now, Alec Thomas. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Owen won the count. Here it comes. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start an at-bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Count is one and two now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Into the box now. Dalton Varsho. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Count even now at one and one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. 
That's a Tough ball. pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. two and two. Now here it comes. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, yeah, and then you bring that one the inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? Oh, it just locks you up play. inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Both teams stepping up now. Andrew Bechtold will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced? Other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And it's one and two. Hey, he's been able two. to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Now that first delivery to him on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. One out, nobody on. Swung on and missed that strike two. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. The wind up and the 0-1. Ball. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. one. Ball, and he pumps the fastball by him here. So one and two now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Okay, we got two down now. Here's two another down. one, two. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. So another good inning for him on the mound. Ready once again, Jeremy Pena. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. A one count. Here's the pitch. Ball, that's down. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. The designated hitter. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Bases are empty, one man out. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Now to the plate, Kevin Crone, 0 for 2 on now his back. line thus far. Hey. There's the fastball that gets the lower Whoa. part of the zone called for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. 0 and 2 now hey. as a curveball drops in there no for a strike. Three. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting one. breaking ball right there, I don't care. For oh. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it Your Jacob please. Barnes is on now to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 40, Jacob Barnes. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom uh, and come away with a loss. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Bees wrap up their 20th.